Hey, what's going on guys? It's Bunkify here for MMOBomb.com and welcome to our first impression gameplay video for Gundog, a new third person shooter that's being published by OG Planet. I want to spend about 20 minutes or so checking out the game, making my usual style of commentary. If you guys want to know more about the game, I highly suggest you check down below at MMOBomb.com for the full game profile. So beyond the fact that this is obviously a game involving dogs shooting each other with guns, what else is sort of unique about gun dogs? Well, the first thing is the fact that it utilizes an interesting customization mechanic whereby players actually accrue cards that actually determine what is their new weapons or HP or abilities. Unlike normal FPS, where basically you would go and get new weapons or customization options such as gear or maybe even attachments, in this game you collect cards and each of the cards sort of dictates the class along with their sort of loadout, their special abilities, etc. So you notice here there are two sort of factions, the Union and the Empire, and beyond sort of just having sort of a different cosmetic option, each of them also has their own set of cards. Now it doesn't seem like each of the cards themselves are different in the sense that the Union has different cards from the Empire, but it does offer two different sets of cards to collect. And that is sort of a big thing in this game is collecting different sets of these cards. Now you can get these cards from playing games or by purchasing them in the shop. So for example, if I go to the shop here and I say, you know, I want to buy a pack, I can go ahead and buy one of these starter packs here. When I purchase this, this will give me a unique card. And this is sort of the same mechanic that you would experience playing the game. You'd either get a card or you would get gold to spend on a card. Now once you've actually accrued these cards, you can go to your storage here and sort of go and select your loadout or card slots here. You can have up to three per faction and they are unique. So when you slot them for the Union, for example, you have to slot a other separate three cards for the Empire. Now you get two cards to start with, one for the Union and one for the Empire, and you can accrue more as you play, obviously. Now the cards themselves, as you get higher ranking cards, for example, these are all rank two, they'll have, you know, more rare abilities to them. They'll also have different weapons or different HP amounts and armor, etc., etc. As you can see, this is my class level up here. So it tells me that I can only use level two things with machine gunner. And the reason or the way you get higher level cards or use higher level cards is by playing a particular class. So right here as a machine gunner, I only have a level one, but if I was to find or un unlock another level two machine gunner card, I could use that here. Now if we go to the Empire, you can also see that I have a medic, a sniper, and a shotgunner, all level one unlocked and available. You all start at level one, but I also have some level threes as well. And you can sort of see the difference between the level one stats and the level three just by sort of taking a look at them down here on the left hand side. So different level, uh, different cards will have different skills. Like I said before, the only class that actually has a skill to start with at level one would be the medic, which allows you to heal people. Uh, but obviously, as you level up and gain new cards and unlock and collect them, uh, you'll gain access to different weapons and the different abilities within, allowing you to sort of customize how you play a particular class, which is sort of interesting. But enough about that, let's go ahead and jump back out here and go to a match. Don't want to show that again, just little tips that show up. You got different game uh, play modes available. Team Deathmatch seems to be the most popular one right now. But other than Team Deathmatch, you also have Occupy, which is sort of like a capture and hold up to a certain amount. <laughs> Currently occupied or hosted by Smexy Chicken. And then they also have like the search and destroy modes, etc. If I was to create a room real quick, I can show you. There's Deathmatch here, along with Occupation Steel, which I assume would be like a, you know, capture a flag sort of thing. And then Demolition. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump out of here, and we'll go ahead and jump first of all into the map Square Garden with a team deathmatch here. And uh, I will ready up, and we'll prepare for playing here. So as you can see, we've got several players on both sides here, including a GM, GM Slippy here. And then we can see our experience down here. Now, the actual sort of lobby base system itself is uh, fairly standard, you would expect that uh, in most FPS. And then once you actually level uh, or get inside, you'll notice that the game contains a sort of cartoony, almost comic book style play. Now this is the current shotgun class that I'm utilizing right now. So he's close range here. And if you notice, oh god. See you guys, my mouse is like super sensitive for some reason. It's weird because like it's fine for a second and then the moment you start turning f past that, it gets really crazy. So I think, oh god. Let's see if we can actually change that mouse sensitivity option. Look at this, it's like, every time I try to go, it like moves really quickly. Let's go to controls here, let's see, I can't even, look at that, I can't even, alright, let's go ahead and adjust that down. Holy crap, my mouse is all over the place. Alright, so I think that fixed it, a little bit. 
was really overly sensitive for some reason. Shot the guy in the back. No, nope, don't shoot me. I think it's part of the fraps, honestly. I think the fraps is messing with it because I didn't have this issue uh, when I wasn't recording with the game. But now that they am, the mouse seems to go all over the place. So I'm a close range fighter. I need to get inside. Come on. Come on. Ah, gotcha. And I really like the fact that it shows their death above their head whenever you do indeed end up shooting them. Oh, I got you now. Now, it does look like you get a little bit of invulnerability before you actually spawn, which is nice. You can't get really camped. Let's see if I can keep this guy. Oh, that guy's going to get blown up by a rocket. So there are rocketeers, there's snipers, there's medics. Come on. I can't throw a grenade by hitting my middle mouse button. And it did get a three kill streak. Nice. No, but I got taken out by a grenade at the last second. Now, I believe I can change class. I would like to go B to go to character select. We can go ahead and try out the sniper class. All right. So I'm now the sniper, as you can see. The sniper works like normal. I can right click to sort of zoom in. It does go into like a first person mode right there. There's also the rifleman, which I guess is sort of like a, a single shot. Not quite a sniper, more like medium range, but certainly very strong. So this game mode is just, as you can see, just a typical team deathmatch. Two buildings sort of facing off against each other. Nothing really crazy right there. Oh god, grenade! I have 17 HP. Alright, so I can crouch. And I did see an option also. Oh, hey, hey there, buddy. Come here. Blam! I don't think he can shoot me from that pistol range there. Let's see if I can see him again. I did like the kind of comic book sort of like annotations and little things that pop up. I think those are pretty cool. Oh, it looks like I can go this way, so I'm going to go ahead and jump around. Now, your health does not regenerate. You do have to utilize the medic class in order to gain back any health. Let's see. Can I see that guy from there? Man, my mouse is just so, like, unwieldy at times, I swear. Alright, can I shoot that guy? That guy is already dead. How about you? Man, the medic, I mean, the sniper class with fraps running is very difficult. I can, like, barely feel like I'm moving my mouse around. One also thing to note is that you don't get your little reticule when playing the sniper class when you're not zooming in. And I am getting terrible shots. Oh, I got him. Nice. He jumped into it. All right, here. So I still got a grenade. You also have a flashbang grenade you can use. Or sorry, it's like more like a smoke grenade. But I assume you would also be able to get a flashbang. Because, you know, that's typically everything. How did I miss you? Oh, my gosh. Come here. There we go. Headshot. That's what I like to see. Let's see what else we can do here. Now, of course, you can hit shift here, which allows you to do your little dog run. Crouch as well. I did see a thing for, like, prone. However, prone does not seem to be implemented currently in the closed beta, which is what we're playing in right now. So this is an elimination up to level 30, where I mean 100 rather, we're currently leading with 34, which is nice. I do have a grenade still to use. I'm going to throw that down there. See if we can get any kills with it. I don't think we will. Oh man, it's so hard to shoot with this right now. That guy got shot by a rocket. Oh, I see someone in our house here. I wish I didn't zoom in so much every time. I wish you could sort of have increments. It'd be very nice to have that. I do know that they're trying to go up above us. I see them over there. I see you. I see you. I see you. No! Rocket in my face. Come on. Come on out. Alright, am I, is it just me? Or is it moving to the left or the right whenever I try to shoot him? The actual movement of the... Uh, I was not moving at that very second when that was happening. It simply was moving at the last second. And it doesn't look like I can also fire. Oh, okay, I can fire. Oh, grenades in there. All right, so let's go ahead and change to a different class. Just don't think it's working right now with Fraps running, so unfortunately. If anything, I'd have to say, you know, who's going to play this game? It's obviously people who want a different... Oh, it's like a medic gun. What is this? Can I actually... Can I... It looks like I can heal up. Ah, so I actually heal him by shooting him. That's cool. I can be a support class. All right, I will be a support... Class, yes. So I'd also have a ability or skill, which I can throw this, which is, I believe, a healing grenade, which is quite nice. I will throw your, I'll throw that grenade. Throw a grenade! All right, there you go. You can get healed up, buddy. No! All right. Oh, yeah. Knife you. I got you, man. So it looks like you're supposed to be able to heal just by shooting your allies, much like the meta gun a little bit in uh, Team Fortress 2. Although, can I heal myself? All right, so let's throw this in the grenade. See, can that heal me? Aha! Look at that! Oh, man, my dog liked that so much. And <laughs> my mouse is going crazy all over the place. 
I think I'm healing him. There we go. Yeah, so that is indeed healing him. I'll keep throwing grenades here in the corner. Heal myself up again. Oh, he likes it so much. All right. All right, so now we've got also a level one skill, although I think that you use a skill, it is, what is skill? All right, so Q changes the weapon. F is hit. Skill Z, uh, is T skill, R skill, R is reload. G is grenade. Now there is ability to use a skill. I have to find out how to use it here, and I am stuck. All right, so let's really quick, let's look at this really quick. How do we exactly use our ability? Because this is the first time I've actually been able to use a class with an ability. Skill is E, it looks like, but I don't know how the E skill works. So I have to be facing someone? I thought it was E, but it wasn't anywhere near. All right, so if I hit E, does it do anything to you? Or maybe it's only more people who have died. We'll try to use it against people who have died. Maybe that will do something. We can heal him up, which is nice. I don't actually know if it does any damage to anybody else, but we can certainly try. I do have... I do have the ability to pull out a pistol if I need. Oh no, it's a sh oh, it's a machine gun. All right, so it's like a submachine gun. Gotcha. All right, so let's pull out my other gun here. Kill my allies up. No, I got shot with a shotgun from behind. All right, well that class is a little weird. Man, my mouse is just all over the place. I have no idea what's going on with my mouse currently. Let's see if I can turn down sensitivity just slightly on my mouse. I do have that option, but I'm going like all over the place here. All right, so we're ahead by quite a few. I'd have to say the favorite class I like to play right now is the machine gunner. Oh my gosh, I can't even move. They're all waiting for me. All right, so store grenade in there. Can I get it? Oh, I missed. Come here, buddy. I gotcha. Yes, so looks like I got him with a shotgun to the face. Nicely done, nicely done. We'll come up here and try to get more kills. And next time we'll play against the other faction, or as the other faction, so you can see the other classes I have unlocked. Got that guy as well. Nice, nice, nice. I'll throw a grenade here. That is just a smoke grenade, but it will at least give me... No! Shotgun, he rolled out there. Now, it looks like you can roll with specific types of classes. So some classes that one of the unlockable abilities you get... Is the fact that you can sort of roll and then come out in front of people and then shoot them in the face. There's the machine gunner like I was speaking of before. I'm going to go and roll this way. I'm going to toss a grenade inside because there's always guys in there. Doesn't look like I got any kills, unfortunately, though. Nobody too close. Oh, come on. That's like three shotgun blasts. Oh, well, I got an assist. I will take it. I will take it. Throw another little grenade in there see what we can do man I wish I just wish my mouse was oh what did I get shot oh a rocket launch no a grenade it looked like it was a grenade out the window alrighty here let's just come out here so overall it's your pretty typical third-person shooter I don't know what is up with the the mouse right now I pretty much sure it's just because of the fact that I'm using oh did I get the kill nope looks like I just did damage but did not in fact kill him with it but I can run up here I did get an assist for that though so I will take that I'll come up behind this guy and see if we can find some guys to uh, ambush. Oh, hello there, doggy. <laughs> Alright. Can we shoot the lamp? Let's, I want to know. No, can't shoot the lamp. Oh, my gosh. So you see how when I'm like turning around, for some reason, randomly, it starts uh, really flying around there. Type. Look at that. Like, uh, it's, you get past a certain point, and then it's like the mouse sensitivity goes crazy. Alright, let's jump down here. So they do need to sort of fix that, I think, for closed beta. That's one of the main obvious things that they'll need to fix. Looks like we've infiltrated their base now. I believe they just spawn in the same area the same time over and over. You don't really get an option. Oh, grenade. You got two of them. Nice. You don't really get an option to uh, select where you spawn. It. I've, you always just spawn in the same area. But it's been victory. Time's up. We did indeed win. Let's go ahead and go to a new match. All right, so I actually started my own little match here in the Bastion area, which is the steel mode, which I assume to be a capture and defend sort of mode where you capture the enemy's flag or decoder in this case, and then take it back. Keep in mind, this is a war between dog factions. So in this case, we have to steal the decoder while they defend. So it's a capture and defend. All right, so this time I'm actually playing as a machine gunner. I am now, I guess, the rebel faction, not the empire here. And the machine gunner has increased HP. And the ability to fire tons of bullets all the time at enemies non-stop. 
I, he's pretty strong, I have to say. Almost too strong, you could argue. 125 HP is the starter HP that I actually get. Only down to 5 HP right now. Of course, it doesn't regenerate, unfortunately, for me. But uh, I am super tanky. And oh man, there goes the mouse issue again. Alright, I got you. Let's get this guy to start spraying. Success! The enemies have been vanquished. Looks like we actually killed all of them. So this is not a respawn mode. This looks like it is a search and destroy mode combined with decoder, in this case, steel mode. So you have one life to live in this. One life. There is no multiple lives. All dogs go to heaven, it appears. So you do have to make sure that you don't die. All right, which I picked a good class for that. I am a class that has a lot of HP and pretty much can just spam my, my uh, machine gun. All right, so I'll dash down here, try to come up behind. Now, I would like to see sort of respawn in this mode, especially if it's a steel the decoder mode. Otherwise, it doesn't seem like, uh, where is the decoder? Is the decoder supposed to be in here? I'm here. Maybe the decoder, this is just where they spawn, it looks like. All right, so let's come up over here. Maybe we can find a guy to sneak up behind. Where is the decoder? Is that in the middle? Is that what the D is? I assume so. All right, so I do hear a guy that is over here. I'll move up. It looks like they're trying to chase guys down. Ah, assist. Nice. Hey, I'm here. Oh, man. Look at me go, this. All right. I'll come back up. And the coder. All right. So. Warning. Warning. I got the decoder. Let's do this. No! I got sniped right there. That, that was. Wow, he quickly <laughs> sniped me in the face. Man, I didn't even get a chance. That was crazy. Boom, headshot. That is indeed what he got. But we won. It's all right. So we got to get to five to win here. So we'll come back. Steel mode. I feel like these would be a lot better if they didn't require uh, a one life to live sort of gameplay. Although the matches only last, I think, a few minutes per uh, per steel the decoder mode. Or steel, steel mode, rather. You only get like two and a half minutes. Got fraps. Oh, my God. That was a terrible grenade throw. Getting tripped up on boxes and whatnot. We'll come around here. See if we can come up behind them. All right, where you at, buddy? All right, got one down. Only have five health, though. And I get taken out by someone flanking me. Take damage from doing it. Now, can I choose? All right, so let's go ahead. I'll choose the Rifleman from the next class when I respawn. But I can observe everybody. We got a guy that's AFK, though. Come on. Oh. <laughs> this guy's a sniper. He is not going to do well against a shotgunner at all, unfortunately. He's trying to, like, snipe. I mean, you see how much it, it zooms in, unfortunately. Yeah, I think he's better off just trying to knife him. Last one here. And fail. That's what you get for AFKing for so long. Oh, my gosh. All right, so let's come back in here. We're on to round three. Got to get five to win. Keep in mind, both sides have to get five to win. All right. So as a rifleman, it's sort of like a, a bolt-action rifle. You don't actually... It's more like, I guess, the M1 Garand. Uh, but got to make sure that, oh, a lot of guys coming up here. This. Oh, come on. Oh, my gosh. This guy here not dying at all. Just getting those quick snipes, unfortunately. I would like to look at my other team. This guy is just, again, sitting way far back. Come on, man. That's not how you play this game. Oh, grenade's going to get blown up. Let's run back here. And I will show the rocket guy since he has the bazooka. You kind of look down here, you can see how much HP each one has. He has 90, he has 85. Don't really know what the 95 on the left. I think that maybe is the damage per shot. This guy here, as you can see, is 45, whereas the other guy is 32. Man, those grenades so strong. And that rifle, that, that sniper is just extremely strong on the enemy team. Although they only have one guy left and we have three. So we should be able to pull this off if we're lucky enough. However, we are on a time deadline. Keep that in mind. Well, we got the... <laughs> okay, there's a guy right there. Shoot him. Oh my gosh. Just go up to him and knife. Just go up to him and knife. Come on. Come on. Right there. Come on. There we go. That's what I want. All he had to do was knife him. He only had 6 HP left. Oh, that dog looks like he was hurt. He's wincing in pain. Look at the sweat come down his face. All right, got to bring the big guns to this fight now. Got my rocket launcher here. You can zoom in a little bit for her. 
You gonna bring the big guns? You wanna bring your sniper rifles? Sure, I'll just blow you to pieces now. Let's see how well we can do this. So you do have different uh, grenades depending on which class you're playing. Which is nice. Gotta make sure that they're not gonna flank us here. I will throw this grenade in there. Go ahead and reload my rocket launcher. Only have 15 of these to use, but I get three per bell, which is nice. Throw that grenade in there. No damage. Oh, bam, right in his face. Gotta make sure they don't uh, flank us though. I know he's gonna come out. I don't wanna reload, I got two. I reload right now. All right, we'll keep coming around here. I'm the last one. There's one. Keep reloading here. I know he's gonna be around the corner. Come on! Oh, it's too slow. Too slow, unfortunately, to get that rocket launcher. The damage. It's just not enough. See, this is one thing I have to say is an issue with the game. I feel like balance is a little bit all over the place. Now, keep in mind, I, that guy's sniping is doing a pretty good job. But I do feel like the rifleman, particularly if you're good with it, is, uh, oh my gosh, this sort of like moving around like this is terrible. Um, but the rifleman particularly is very strong. And the machine gun, you can just, you got 50 bullets, man. I mean, 50 bullets. Just spray that thing all day. Just kill people really quickly. Especially if you're somewhat up close. All right, so let's come up here with the rocket guy. Keep in mind also, some classes are playing, or some people rather, are playing with classes with different amounts of uh, cards or different cards. So you're certainly not gonna be playing against, oh my gosh, if I could actually see what's going on half the time. I'm the last one again? Oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. There. No! I got a kill, but I couldn't kill him fast enough. All right, so let's go ahead and switch to the machine gun. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's do this. All right, so it's going to be a close game. I thought we were going to win this pretty easily, but full time there is a sniper. Nine kills. That's, my team is just uh, not doing as well as I would hope. We were had a strong early game, but uh, people getting sniped all the time. Grenade out. Come on, there's one, I'll run away. Cause I know that guy's over there. Oh my gosh, the grenade in my face. But I can rush pretty quickly. I do like the fact that you can dash for a fairly long, long amount of time. Oh man, full time has just got this game under lock. He knows exactly what he's doing. Unfortunately, we only got one guy left who is seemingly very slow to move up forward. He is a puppy dog, which I believe means he's a brand new player. Sergeant Hiroshi. I don't think Sergeant Hiroshi knows what he's doing. Sergeant Hiroshi is actually going to try to get up an event. There is a vent here that is quite interesting. Come on, Hiroshi. What are you going to do? Hiroshi. Hiroshi. I can't look off of you. What? What are you doing, Hiroshi? You're just sitting there. I can't move off of, I, I want to change players, but you're just, are you just sitting there? What's going on? I can't see anything. Uh, uh, is he dead? I see nothing on the map. Maybe it's frozen. Maybe the game's closed beta state is correct. He apparently is taking damage at like random amounts. He's just sitting here, but I can't actually move the screen around. I would like to be able to look around a little bit better. I guess we just have to wait. Okay, now he's moving. He's glitching through everything. <laughs> Man, the camera in this game is probably the weakest part. Oh, come on, Hiroshi. Grab it. There you go, Hiroshi. He seems like he's above everything else. The camera is so glitched out right now. Go, Hiroshi! No, Hiroshi, wrong way! That's the enemy's way, Hiroshi! Ah, Hiroshi! No! You don't understand, Hiroshi! 
And then Hiroshi just sits there and dies. Okay, Hiroshi. It's clear that you don't know what's going on. It's all right, though. The other side is where you have to go. So now they may actually win this, would be a, which would be an unfortunate way to end this first impression. We'll try our best here. That full guy, though, getting those snipes, getting those grenade throws, baiting people out like pros. Throw that grenade over there, hopefully, maybe. My grandfather. <laughs> Looks like he had to deal with his grandpappy for a little bit, you know. We have some aggro here, happens. Shoot those. Alright, so already. Oh man, already taking damage. Already dead. Oh my gosh, guys. Ah, too many rockets, and of course, full time 12 0 and 3. I was second on my team, but it doesn't look like we're going to be able to win this one. How are we looking here? They've only lost one individual, and those grenades are killer. Those grenades are absolutely killer. But everybody shoots like they're drunken at times, it looks like. Not really sure if that's due to the... Yep, look, there's another dog tag. And now we've got XX Jogex as the last individual. Man, they really came back here to win. Full-time just doing work a lot. But all right, I'm going to go ahead and conclude our first look here. If you guys want to learn more about Gundog, you guys can, of course, go down below at MOBomb.com for the full game profile. Until next time, this has been Spunkify. Spunkify out. Later, guys.